But I came into Dust and Elysian Tale totally with some biases. My first bias was, is it seemed like a game for furries, which is fine, <laughs> but it's definitely got a furry element to it. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I show it to you. Okay. Second of all, it's a Microsoft title. And so right. I was like, well, I'm going to hate this Microsoft title on Linux. I'm ready to hate, right? I was, I was loaded. <laughs> and then I started to play it and it is so much fun. It is such a fun game. I'll show you a little bit of it right here. Uh, so, um, you have your traditional sl slots. Mm -hmm. It's definitely meant for a controller, but you can easily play it with a mouse and keyboard. That's what I'm playing with here. Uh, everything, all of the art is hand drawn. Seriously. So it's very beautiful. Oh, wow. And you have this little helper right here. Uh, this oh, little, it kind of looks like it. Yeah, I can see that. It, it's see very the bunnies? And, yeah. And I'm some sort of animal. Now, this is, <laughs> there's a lot of different visuals that go on in this game. Uh, so. This isn't the most visually rich level, but you, even from this, you can see I, how I th gorgeous I think it's, it is. I think it's quite gorgeous. I yeah. think the fact that it doesn't look rendered, you know, is right. actually nice because it looks crisp. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go over here. I'll start a little battle so you can get an idea of what the combat's right. like. And see, so you have voiceovers. Look, please help us. All right, so here we go. These guys are bad guys, ah! and these guys are tricky. Look at the size mm. of that thing. He requires a special kind of combat. I think I can handle it. Exercise all. Oh, and I have a talking dust. sword. Well, it doesn't everybody? Yeah. So, uh, here we go. So, okay. first I'm going to take care of these guys Ooh. over here. Okay, now it's getting interesting. Oh, oh. See, he hits hard. And the trick with him is actually to stun him. So, if I go over here, so I'm going to watch. Now, watch. Oh, no, oh. it's too soon. I got to stun him. Okay, here we go. Oh, there, I got him. I got him. You so, go. now he's mine. Oh, he's mine, Matt. He's mine now. The points are accumulating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See that? There, and I just took care of him. No problem. Um, now it's a little blurry on the live stream, but no, wait, that's you see what I'm talking about the furry oh, aspect. Oh yeah, right, yeah, yeah, big time furry aspect, right? It's okay if that's your thing. I mean, it's it'll be it's a bonus. Now I got two of these guys, man. I got two of these guys. I'll clear these guys oh, up. All right, you stun them and then stun them. Yep, Black. and then so you stun them by hitting them in the foot. Is that the deal? You stun them as they hit you. So if you hit uh, them right okay. as they're hitting you, you can stun them. And it's an ability I picked up later. Oh, see, he got me. And there's cool combo attacks you can do. Oh, it's like, okay, it's very more. Oh, see, so yeah, that one I didn't stun him in time. Oh, too soon again. No, I got him this time. So, um, it also has a little bit of an RPG element to it. You have it does gear, feel like it, yeah. um, you have, uh, you have, you level up, and then you can increase your skill in uh, different, uh, in, in different areas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the other thing I really like about it, and this is great because, first of all, it's not too violent that I can play it with my son. And he, right. it's very visually interesting for him, so he likes to oh, watch yeah, it. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's like watching a cartoon. I mean, it, very much so. It yeah. is, it's almost, ex especially as they have these cut scenes where the guys are talking. They're interesting for a kid. Yeah. Um, but there's something else that this game does that I really appreciate, because when I'm playing with my, with my kid, I have him in my lap, and I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard. He's constantly asking me questions like, you know, what did that guy say? Right, what's what's right. going on here? And what this game is really good at is uh, in the options, you can set things up like... Um, Auto advance, auto heal me, oh. uh, auto level up, right? right. Uh, difficulty is casual. These And the reason what these are here for is these allow me to kind of play a little colorblind mode even. Mm. These allow me to play a little more checked out because I'm a little more distracted when I'm playing with Dylan, right? Sure. I'm answering yeah. questions. I'm doing all that kind of stuff. I don't think about automatically applying my heal. I don't think about, oh, I need to level up and apply my skill points. I can tell the game, just go ahead and do that for Take me. Take care of it so I can concentrate on other yeah. things. Right. And you don't, and, but you can also turn that stuff off. So if you really want to get right. into the tweaking out your character and specifying where your skill points go, mm -hmm. uh, you can do that. It also has um, a very sort of hmm. Metroid-like aspect to it. It where does, yeah. You gear up and like right. you get like a new sword. And you get a new power, and then like all of a sudden, areas you couldn't get into before are all of a sudden accessible to you because like you can get into this little crevice that you couldn't get into before. Right, right. The downside is that also means you end up retra retracing your steps a lot. Um, Interesting. See, I'll bring up it's here's gorgeous looking game. Yeah, sure is. And here's the uh, here's the map. So you can kind of it's almost a Metroid inspired like map too, where you get these different sectors. You can see over here. Once I get an ability, I'm going to need to go down here. So you can see I'm not really flushing out this area very much. Uh, I don't okay. Have the powers okay. Yet. It does mean I'm going to be retracking my steps a little bit. Uh, but not to the point of being ridiculous. Right, and as long as you're having a good time, I don't suppose it really matters yeah. all that much. And then as I proceed, and I'll just wrap up here, as I proceed um, into the next area, and it's all side low, it's all side scrolling the whole time, and it works fabulous with a with a controller. Right. Oh, uh, I and, bet. And I can so now I've moved into the next level. I get a I get so that's the first chapter mm -hmm. right there. And uh, now as I walk through a town, I will get uh, quests from individual town ah. members, and then these quests give me XP points, and you know just sort of oh, it has wow. the RPG element to it there. So anyways, that's Dust and a Lazy cool. Tale. 
and uh, mm. it is on sale right now in Steam for like three dollars or something like that. Oh, it's, that it's part of that crazy Steam wow. sale that's going on right now because they have them every every yeah. holiday season. And uh, so you can pick up uh, Dust and Elysian Tale for a fantastic price. That's so really you cool. And then you also get like a skip. You can skip through cutscenes entirely. That would be nice. cool. That's a feature, especially I want. when the yeah. kids getting a little bored and things like well, that. Well, when I'm getting a little bored, it's like blah blah blah. Yeah, that too. You know, I want to hit things. I want to yeah. kill stuff. Yeah, you know, I just I want to get to it. Yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, so let me see. In the store page right now, yeah, Steam is selling it for. Uh, of course, it doesn't tell me the price because oh yeah, it does. Three dollars and seventy four cents. Normally fourteen ninety nine, but Steam has it seventy five percent off. My price range, at least for another twenty three hours. Yeah, I may actually do that for uh, for family when I get home. It's a very good game, and yeah. uh, it makes me kind of want to buy a controller. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, with you. I have an old USB controller somewhere. I don't know what the hell I did with it, but yeah. Uh, and as you can see, you got cool castle levels. You'll get to. You know, Wii controllers are. Bluetooth, and yeah. they do work under Linux. I yeah. wonder. Yeah, I, I wonder. I'll bet they do. Now, I'll tell you, hmm. this game was originally built for the Xbox, so I uh, think it's probably going to work better with the 360 controller. Probably. But you never know. Yeah, yep, you never yep, know. Yep, yep. So, right, Dust, an Alasian Tale.